Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back for another video, and today I'm back with Stefan. What's up, guys? And Arturo, and we're gonna be reacting to Dave Allen on airplanes. Dave Allen is an Irish comedian, and he's one of my favorite comedians that I've reacted to on the channel. So I'm gonna introduce him to Stefan and Arturo, or rather the other way around. Uh, make sure you guys consider joining the Patreon. It's the first link in the description for full reactions to British shows and movies. We just started a new show over there. It's called The Vicar of Dibley. And I watched the first episode. It was pretty solid. So if you want some more content over there, I'd appreciate the support. But with that being said, let's get right into this. When I fly, I don't want to care about wide seats, short seats, reclining seats, how much booze they're going to give me, what food I'm going to... When I fly, three things I want to know. Will the plane take off? <laughs> when, it, when it's up in the air, will it stay in the air? <laughs> and when it comes down, is it coming down where they said it would come down? <laughs> That's all I want to know. <laughs> Get on airplanes. Good. The language. The language of airlines. Planes are never late. Have you noticed that? They're delayed. <laughs> you get on the when they the take and there's always you see there's always these words that they use words are very important the psychological wording you get on an airplane sitting on the runway ready to take off that's when the hostess always tells you about the things that can go wrong with the plane they never tell you that when you're buying the ticket do they they never say the wings could fall out or Oxygen will fail. No, no, no. They wait until you're sitting there. Not only are you sitting there, but you're strapped. <laughs> you're strapped into this bloody thing. And then under the guise of talking about the doors, they're giving you a blessing. See that? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Use words of uh, if by chance, if by chance the pressurization of the cabin drops, oxygen will be provided. <laughs> That's bloody nice of them, isn't it? <laughs> They've got you up to 35,000 feet. Exactly. <laughs> They're about to asphyxiate you. No, we'll give you some oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> if an oxygen mask drops down in front of you, please place it over your nose and mouth and breathe. <laughs> Where else, for Christ's sake? <laughs> That's the only part of your body you can breathe through. You're not going to stick it on your arse. <laughs> And these things drop out of the roof like used contraceptives. <laughs> and you're going to go, oh, look at that. Oh, that's interesting. The pressurization of the cabin must have dropped. They're providing us good oxygen. Oh, wow. Very interesting, is it? Yes. Yo, if I'm on a flight and those masks ever drop, mm -hmm. it's, over, it's over, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, you're falling down, like. You know that's what I'm saying. saying. That's gonna and be I one would, of the most like gut wrenching moments someone bro, could ever experience. I would be so. The most I experience is like turbulence. Like that turbulence like, is rough on its own. Like, oh my yeah. gosh! The thing Tur drops like. Yeah. That happened to me once. That feeling in your stomach yeah. when it drops, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> I had that on spirit. <laughs> what do you all think of uh, Dave Allen so far, though? No, he's funny. Yeah, he's funny guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Arse. I like. That. <laughs> yeah. Crap. Let me tell you, if you're sitting there at 35,000 feet and those things drop down in front of you, the first thing that happens is your anal nerve goes. <laughs> <laughs> and on a jumbo jet, that is 500 anal nerves. So the quicker the thing you get that thing over your nose, the better. Wait, what's an anal nerve? I think he's basically saying people are going to shit themselves. Uh. <laughs> and 500... <laughs> 
That was a good question. No, Words like emergency landing. Have you come across that? Emergency landing. Emergency landing. It's clever wording. It's an emergency, but it's a landing. They've got you down. We're pros. It's an emergency. We've seen you through. We've got you down. You don't have to worry about things like that. Emergency. Somebody says emergency to me, crash! <laughs> That's what it is, crash! crash. Emergency landing, hit, thump, wallop, bang, bump into. <laughs> We're about to make an emergency landing on the side of this mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely things like, make sure your safety belt is fastened. Can you see yourself going through all this? The plane is coming in. Cuban. Your table is stowed. <laughs> Seat is in an upright position. Make sure that all the crockery and glass things you give to the hostess. Hostess, excuse me. <laughs> We're coming into the side of a mountain. Will you take my glass away from me? <laughs> Take your teeth out. <laughs> they don't say take your false teeth out, they say take your teeth out. <laughs> People sit there with spoons going. <laughs> place a pillow on your lap and place your head on the lap. You see that? Sitting there coming into the side of a mountain with your head on your lap? That's so you can kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, that's funny, man. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. <laughs> what did you do when you hit the mountain? I braced myself. That's what I did. Boom. <laughs> do you know that an airplane, after 18 hours of flying, is just filled with vomit? Defecation and farts. Oh, that's disgusting. That's all it is. It hits the side of a mountain. That's why nobody will go near it for days. <laughs> if, if in the un have you heard? If in the unlikely event of us having to put down on water, there's a double doubt there, isn't it? If unlikely, put the two. The if unlikely, put down on water. Put down, put down, leaves put down, thistle down puts down, feathers put down, jumbo jets, have you seen one? It's as big as this theatre for Christ's sake. If I took this theatre up to 35,000 feet and dropped it, it would not put down. It would bury itself in the bloody ground, that's what it do. If in the unlikely event of us having to put down on water, you will find your life jacket under your seat. And then they show you how to put it on. You place it over your head, you take two ribbons, you circle the body once, tie it in the bone on the left-hand side, and they do it. Sky at 900 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you put down in the Indian Ocean. You see in the Indian Ocean? It's enormous. It's black and nasty and enormous. It's got waves, huge, gigantic waves following each other all around. <laughs> Even with the light. And you look at your safety card. And you have landed in the Indian Ocean. Your captain has managed to find a flat piece. <laughs> <laughs> Your plane is flat. All little blue waves all around it, all pretty. <laughs> the yellow slides coming out of the side of the airplane. People going. <laughs> the dinghy with a bell tent. Children say, Mommy, we're going camping in the evening. <laughs> you see pictures of the people leaving the airplane. 
Never to be seen again. When the hostess was saying, thank you for flying, Grisha. The one thing you never see in all that is little black fins, do you? You never look at those pictures and there's little black fins all floating around, do If you get in an airplane and you're looking at the safety card and it has black fins on it, I have been there before you. <laughs> That's what I do on airplanes now. I get the safety cards and I draw in little black fins. <laughs> I get a red ink and kind of put little bits of red in it. <laughs> <laughs> and for your added safety, while you're in the Indian Ocean, they give you a whistle. <laughs> In the Indian Ocean. Miles of nothing. Huge waves. <laughs> Rescue plane, 40,000 feet. <laughs> no. the one thing I've always, always you hear about, but any sort of mishap with airplanes, the one thing that they always find, the only thing to get back is the flight recorder, don't they? The black box. They mm. always get the black box back. It's waterproof, bombproof, fireproof. It is totally indestructible. Why can't they make Now why don't they put wings on it and let us fly it? <laughs> oh my god, literally, bro. Wait, what is that? What were we talking about? Kind of the black box? I think what is that? he's talking about like something with the flight's info or something. I don't know. But he's saying it's indestructible, unlike the rest of the plane. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Anyways. That's funny as hell. <laughs> What'd you guys think of Dave Allen? He's, he's done a lot he's of. He's funny, bro. He's done some things on religion too. Oh, oh yeah, pretty funny videos. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I've seen. I feel like I've seen some thumbnails of you reacting to him or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I like him a lot. That he's was a good comedian. one. It's, just, it's really casual too, like his whole delivery, and it's, at times it seems like he's improving, like it's, he doesn't even have it scripted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is is he like mainly a comedian or what? Yeah, that's his main job. Irish comedian. Irish? He's Irish. Yeah. Oh, shit. He be improving too, or? I don't know. I mean, most comedy is an improv, but okay. maybe. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> I remember Dave, you know Dave Chappelle, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember he said he would literally put punchlines in like a fishbowl and pick them out and make a joke that? out of that shit. He's fucking crazy. Like on stage? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, just for, like before? Yeah, before and then so. just like, just, yeah, he's fucking crazy. Mm. Yeah. You know, a comedian, being a comedian is hard to do though. It I is. Feel like, you think? Audience. You I'll get be. heckled a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. It's not for me. No. But it would be fun too. to go to like a comedy club once oh, and yeah. just try and say some jokes, yeah. see how they react. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you guys ever been to a comedy show? Nah, no. Nah. Nah, me neither. That okay, when I go, I've heard it's way funnier like in person. Yeah, like sure some people is. pass out. Yeah, that, from, like, laughing. yeah, I can tell how it could be funnier because <laughs> <laughs> they point out people in the audience and start making fun of them. <laughs> That's wild. Like, I th if you're fat, you can't go to a comedy show, bro. Oh, have y'all seen the Nutty Professor before? That Nutty movie? Professor, no. no. Yeah, that's basically he. He's like he was like three hundred pounds in the movie, and he went to a comedy club. And like the moment he walked in the at the side door, they started that's what happens, him out. <laughs> that's what it's happens. messed up. But anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, guys, that was Dave Allen on airplanes. If you want any other reactions from Dave Allen, throw them in the comments. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next All one. All right, guys, peace.